y'all this is a quick little vlog life update um luckily i don't know if y'all know because i don't really get on i haven't been on youtube for like two months like yeah I'm trying to get myself together so basically i'm sorry the angle gonna be jacked up um so life update I don't know if I told y'all I was pregnant or not, but yeah, I had a miscarriage. Um, my kids been acting out, well, not all of them, just Noah. He's been acting out at school, um, hanging with the wrong crowd. Yeah, so today his teacher basically told me, um, it's like a little app that we use. It's called Dojo or something like that. Y'all look a mess. Don't mind how I look, but whatever i work from home now so i can look how i want to look when i'm my own business so, so anyway yeah it's hot y'all in this car i just literally got it 77 degrees i ain't even let my car cool off baby because as soon as a teacher tell me something going on with my child baby i'm popping up i want to whoop his blank but me in virginia and i can't do that so uh i'm gonna talk to him but yeah, his teacher said basically, I guess the cafeteria worker, I don't know if the teacher's been there or maybe, oh, I know when I was a teacher, um, the kids ate in our classroom because obviously I worked with the younger kids. But I do know some of them just went, their kids ate in the cafeteria, the older kids ate in the cafeteria. And, um, who y'all gotta turn this girl? Oh, jeez. They ate in the cafeteria and the teachers wasn't in there. It was just like, I guess, cafeteria workers that volunteer. Um, they probably worked there or whatever. And they watched over the kids. So one of them told Noah to do something or whatever. I can't remember off the back, but I'm, whatever. Um, told him to do something. He flipped his milk and milk spilled everywhere. And knocked somebody hot soup i guess they had hot soup today and they got all over a child neck now people that know me and know my husband when it comes to discipline and how your kid how a kid should stay in a kid place and i'm not talking about no abuse stuff or none of that but a kid should stay in a kid place. Kids should be where a kid should be. If it's adult time, kids should be asleep or out of sight. It's a time and a place. If you under 18, baby, you need to be in that room. You need to be respectful. You need to know how to talk to adults. Yeah, me growing up, I used to have a bad attitude, but guarantee, whatever I had to say, I said it behind their back. I didn't say it in their face. Because I knew better. And I knew when I came home, my mom was going to tan in the olive. So, which, that wasn't the right thing either. But, so, we didn't have this talk with Noah. Past few weeks, he has been acting out. We don't know why he's acting out. He'll talk back to us, like, so yesterday, for example, today is Monday. It's 11.47, by the way. So, Sunday, his dad was like, it was around maybe 7-ish. He was like, okay, we're going to go on and get our showers. Yeah, because y'all got school tomorrow. Noah was sitting on the couch. She was like, I don't care. Oh, I know I got school, so. Some he said. And I was like, oh, you just said that, Noah? Like, it's just stuff like that. Him just talking back. I always got to have a smart remark about something. Then he turn around and get scary when you tanning in his butt. Like, I don't understand. So he's been hanging around with one Pacific boy and little boys mm, he's bad AF I'm just gonna put it out there period point blank like since Noah has been going to this school it has been a lot of from the bus issues from you know kindergarten he did okay it was just the bus in kindergarten first grade it's just his teacher is telling me stuff and she just told me something about him the week before last and basically what happened with that is I can't even remember y'all like <sighs> that's sad y'all but it was something oh yeah I remember so basically they were in a hallway in the line 
and another teacher had her class. I guess they was in passing. Noah was playing with the same little boy, the bad AF, and the teacher was like, you need to pay attention or something like that. And he was like, your classroom right there. Your class right there. When the teacher told me that, I was like, not my Noah. Not my Noah. And I was like, it is my Noah. Because nine times out of ten, I'm pulling up at the school now, y'all. And I say I don't play by mine, baby. I don't play by mine. Literally. And I might screenshot the message. Oh, yeah. I was like... Yeah, he's been acting out. And I was like, please tell me anything he do. And she had to move his seat several times and all of that. And I was like, please tell me. Because we're, we're parents and so we're involved. Our kids are in sports. Every sport they want. Oh, I'm spitting. Every sport they want to do. Even the ones they don't want to do. We're keeping them very active as young kids. Because I feel like younger kids need to be active. Because, you know, they get to acting crazy. So, I just pulled up to this school. I'm going to go talk to him. And it's just like we do stuff. Like, they just did the school carnival. Like, now, they had a t-ball game the same day that morning. So, they the, the carnival was ending at 1. They t-ball game wasn't done until 12. And they, um... They didn't get a chance to be there long. So we do stuff with them. You know, we try our best to we really try our best. But you know, some kids act out regardless of they can be raised a certain way and they be the ones, you know, showing their butts because like we were literally getting our kids butt about stuff all the time and i don't know what's going on with him like like ain't nothing dramatic happened like i don't know like mm, yeah i'm gonna go in there though yeah i'm gonna let y'all know what happened Yes, I'm here to see Noah, sis. Come on in. Okay. John back. My hair all messed up. Sweating. It's hot. Um, <clears throat> I just talked to Noah. I'm mad about my hair. Yeah, I paid to get this sew in. And she just did my hair. She did my natural hair a month ago. <clears throat> and she was really good. But as far as like maybe weaves maybe not so much like <clears throat> it's not coming apart it's just how she did it like mm, she ain't put all my bundles in there for one she uh, is super thin like look how thin it is y'all and I had way more hair than this because I guess she was trying to hurry up and leave but yeah she ended up clipping my ends again so my fist gotta go it's not gonna blend let her clip it and it's still not blended. Look at it. I even, it was straight. Well, my hair was straight. She flat ironed it and the rest was like um, the natural state from washing it. And <clears throat> it's just not blend. I tried twisting it. It's just still not doing what it's supposed to do. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just left Noah's school. Let me get back on track here. Left Noah's school. He came to the office or whatever. I asked him what was going on. First off, he already knew he was in trouble. I was like, what happened today at lunch? He was like, I flipped my milk. I'm like, why? He was like, because I'm mad. I was mad. I forgot to ask him why he was mad. Um, But he was saying he was mad. I'm like, well, what happened with the soup? He was like, him flipping the milk caused him the, the milk fell in somebody's soup and it caused the the boy to get burnt or whoever it was to get burnt and I'm like you do understand that it's consequences with everything you do like everything you do it's a consequence I said it's people in jail because their reaction 
caused them to do something and now they're in jail. Like, I get it. You get mad. Me still having anger issues. Me still dealing with that. I used to get angry to the point where I used to hit stuff. Like, literally bus holes in a wall, bus cabinets, like stuff like that. So, I get it. But, those luckily for me, I didn't, like, nothing bad happened for those consequences. You just fix the whole boom, is that. You know? So, it's just like a thing where I'm trying to teach him the right I'm trying to tell, okay, it's okay to be angry. Everybody get angry. You just gotta take deep breaths and think about, oh, if I do this, what would be the outcome? You get what I'm saying? Like, so I talked to him for a little bit. It wasn't even like five minutes because I wanted him to get back to class. And it is 12.04, so he's gonna be coming home in a couple hours. But I did tell him that I named the little friend name. I said, that's not your friend. Stop talking to him. And anybody else, because that's the main one. He, he talk about this boy every day, all day at home. We like, stop talking about that boy. Hey, get up off him. So, it's not, it's barely any other kids, but the teacher said it's a group of kids. So, I was like, those group of kids that are getting you in trouble, stop talking to them. Now, I have told him this before. The last time, about the week, um, last week or the week before, I we told him the same thing. Stop hanging around those kids. Because easily, their reaction, that little boy can have a, a girl, can have a third degree burn, and their parent want to press charges. Like, you have people like that. So hopefully the child didn't get hurt. And I was like, did you apologize to the child that was the innocent bystander that got splashed with hot freaking soup? He was like, he did. Now, if he did or he didn't, I don't know. But I told him if he didn't apologize, if he told me a little flip, because that's what he do now. He lies so much now. It's like, and you see him, we'll see him doing something, and we'll just ask him to see if he's going to tell us the truth. He's like, no, I didn't do that. Him doing, it. but he don't know we saw. It. But I get it. It's kids stuff. Kids do it. You know, if y'all had any experience with y'all kids, like for me, this is my like. Obviously, I don't have older kids. This is my first time, like actually, like you know, he's six years old. So I don't know how to deal with certain things. And when I had my siblings, when I helped raise my siblings and stuff, when my sister used to get in trouble on the bus and stuff like that, I just went to the bus stop. You know, it wasn't like, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to still learn how to deal with how to talk to my kid when they're doing going through this the right way and not, I don't know. I'm still learning. Like, if y'all got some pointers, let me know. Um, because I'm trying to come do a different aspect of not using threats or you know, parents, we all tend to be like, Oh, we're gonna whoop you. Um, you you do this, you're gonna come home and whoop you up. I don't wanna be that type of parent because that's how I was, which technically I grew up perfectly fine. I love that my mama did that. You come home crying, somebody did something to you, I'm gonna whoop you up. I love she did that because baby it made me to the person I am today and I didn't go down the wrong path and you know or whatever so I don't know I'm trying to figure out different other ways to do things if that makes sense so um, yeah if y'all know people with kids, you know, let me know what I can do, but he is, when he come home, it's going to be another lecture, because we believe in lectures in this house, any kid, I, like my stepkids, 
they do something. It's a whole lecture, baby. We know you don't want to sit here and hear us talk. We know that. And that's why we're going to do it. You're not going to get a butt whooping every time. But it's going to be a lecture. And you're not going to want to hear it. Yeah, I made it back to the house. Um... I don't know, it's just like a deep, a lot of stuff. Like the church we go going to, um, they're opening up a school. And I actually thought about like transferring the boys to that school. Um, but they still building it or whatever. Since Noah been having problems, I don't know. And it's just so crazy because Noah never, like, when he was younger, never showed no anger issues. It's just literally being at this school. I don't know. Which, I get. Kids grow up, they, they're different. They turn into their own person. But it's just like, dang, like. And Noah's still, like, the sweet kid. Like, he's always, like, he's a mama's boy. Mama. Oh yeah, my seat jacked up. Like kids eating back there. Like you want me to massage your feet, mama? You want me? Here go a cup of water. Like he's still my sweet child, but it's just like I don't know. It's something going on. Um, and I don't know what it is. And I'll be really trying to figure it out. It's like when you tell them, when you ask a kid something, they don't know how to fully tell you deep, deep what's going on. They're just like I'm mad. Like. Like y'all, damn yeah. Huh? One of my kids um came late today. Like he wasn't. He probably might be dropped off now because I hear my ring thing go off. Um, there were Bay here, and all the parents comfortable with. Well, the one that's coming or whatever, is comfortable with leaving them with my baby, my husband, or whatever. Oh yeah. This got me so like, I'm not even gonna lie. Anyway, y'all, peace. Y'all want to know what's crazy? Like, we used to like take the kids out like once a month to do something. Um, just to do something. But we ain't been able to because our money ain't right. So, we, um, we still try to do stuff with them at the house, like moving on our head. I just made brownies with all the kids last night. So, it ain't like none of that. Like, it's crazy. So, yeah. Um, I talked to my dad whether my kids are napping. Um, don't mind these clothes, y'all. They clean clothes. I'm still in the process of washing y'all. I'm going to show y'all everything. What I got left. I'm still going to record this direction because... I was recording like this in the car. Yeah. Look at all these clothes. Now, it finished just in time. Look. I gotta organize. Y'all see my little puppies? I gotta figure out where to put them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look at this. Look, I read. Shh. Shh. I hear you. Okay. I got all this left. Basically had to uh, Hey baby. Basically had to here, you can oh, grab these. Yeah. Where they at? Oh shoot. Snow. Basically yeah. Uh, boys had lice again. Well Isaiah. Um uh, or whatever, because he was digging in his head like crazy at church. So we had to strip everything. Um I don't want to wrinkle his shirt up. It's a church shirt. Uh, we had to strip beds. They got their hair treatment and their hair cut. 
Well, no, it didn't have nothing. Isaiah got his hair treated, both of them, and haircut. Araya, I do her hair um, every couple of days. So, and like how her hair texture is made, it's easy to see through her scab, super easy. It's not like kinky, coily like my hair. Um, or whatever, but I am gonna go through her hair on um, wash day. So I just kept her little sheets on her. But I ain't seen nothing out here and I just literally did her hair twice in a week, so yeah. Yeah, we got all that to do. I'm washing and um fold I mean washing and drying, bay folding and putting them up. That's our little routine. Yeah. Even like and like every week I always wash out sheets and stuff. At least the kids, you know. But It'll never be like this. I started yesterday. I normally start like Fridays and get done before Sunday, but I had a long like come my fat yeah. I had a long weekend, like Friday. What do Friday? I think Friday was pretty free. Um Saturday morning I got up. I had to be at, it was like a church event, spirit walk, for pretty much like saving kids, not having abortions, blah, blah, all that stuff. Um, um, so, I did that at 9.15. Oh, and before that, y'all, your girl, Araya, decides we... Go get her at the bed. Well, baby's like, babe, look at what she doing. I go look. This girl had did a poop facial. You hear me right? Poop. Like, poop. It was all over her hands, like, deep into her pores, face, everything. Had to do her hair over in the tub that morning. It was like 8 something. Remember that? I said that video at 9 15. And it was a different location, you know, from where the church is. So, yeah, yeah, I pretty much had to do that. And they basically got her room together after that. And she went with me to the shrine walk because the boys also had a t-ball game. And after that, we took them to the school cover, which the t-ball game went a little over because they did another round. And after that, we had one of the kids that I watched in my daycare, his birthday party was at two o'clock. So like everything's back to back. <laughs> and after that, I had to get my hair done, which I don't like. Uh, at like four o'clock, so I had to drive like 35 minutes to get my hair done. And after that, we came home and we went to Got the kids bathed and put them in the bed. They ate down and put them in the bed. Yeah. And we had to get up Sunday morning to go to church. Um, that was like at 10 30. Normally, like, I like to swap out, like, we'll do the um, couples little class together and then. Like this at 9 30. Then the next following week we'll do regular church. But we end up not doing a couple of months too early. After a long week or whatever. So yeah. That's how the weekend went. So as you see, that's why so much laundry. Yeah, he out already. Like he be going. He be out. Like 2.6 seconds. So yeah, waiting on the boys to get from school. The bus ain't here yet. Do is I pretty much just sit and this chair and my little desk. My desk is a job for right now. Um, I still have a process. I don't know what this is. It's still nap time. He's still asleep. <clears throat> um, my freaking hurry ass.
I don't like this. And it's unraveling. And I literally just got this done Saturday. Like, y'all can't even see what the track's lifting up. Um, but yeah, I'm in the process of building my new one. I hope y'all see my edges. building like my little organizer and that's why my day is like this because I had to get it. I didn't finish it. I started the weekend but like I said I had so much to do. Um, I had so much to do and <coughs> I just couldn't finish it. Pretty much text the lady that I know <clears throat> that my dress coming loose. <clears throat> like I paid you money, I paid you over fifty dollars, over sixty dollars, over eighty dollars for a sewing, <clears throat> and it ain't right. Like and she was rushing it. Like I didn't even see her like tying the knots. You know, like when you would get to the end of the track, I have seen people tie the knots up. I didn't see her doing that. And I was like facing, like the mirror was like literally facing me. <clears throat> so, my ring camera did it. Look, ain't nobody right here. Oh, yeah. I'm over it. Uh, that's the quickest way to lose my business. If you don't respond to my text messages, because literally I just got my hair done Saturday. Haven't done nothing. I twisted um, the hair at the end to so try to make it curly and mess with like my top part, like my leave out or whatever. And that's it. I ain't did nothing else to it. Right. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, this stuff smells so good. We got this from Home Depot. And it kills everything.
If you ain't cleaning these kids' pots, you're nasty. Like the whole pot, not just the part the pee go in. That's clean. I'm gonna clean my little stool. Cause feet from that side, all day. And kids touch it to wash their hands. Wipe this on um, residue off the couch. I mean couch. Off the sink from the cleaner. sink area nice and clean now see that now I'm about to do my toilet now they can store Toilet clean, just gotta flush it. Spotless, just spotless. If the side of your toilet ain't clean like that, baby, why you clean? Yeah, baby. Pot clean all over. And it, boom, boom, don't mind the plunger. It's there. Boom. Clean. 